New at five, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation releases its State of the Bay report. And the data shows that the health of the bay is relatively unchanged from the 2020 report. The bay overall got 32 points or a D plus. The report, well, the report also showed the bay has progressively dropped since 2016, except for this year. Alex Littlehales breaks down where the bay is seeing improvements and where it's failing. The conditions of the Chesapeake Bay change as much as the tide itself. But a new two-year report found the overall health of the watershed is better described as the same. So this year, obviously, the score, overall score, did not change. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation's latest State of the Bay report released Thursday unveiled an overall D-plus score for the watershed based on 13 environmental factors from chemical imbalances to habitat issues and more. Seven of these metrics did not change, while three improved and three others went down. Fertilizers, uh, they're nutrients that we have in our Chesapeake Bay watershed, and in the right amounts, they're a good thing, but when we have excess amounts, we end up causing water quality problems. Chris Moore, senior scientist with the CBF, says the new report shows how difficult reversing the chemical imbalances in the watershed still prove to be. Nitrogen levels are unchanged, and phosphorus increased two score points from 2020, but both are still below passing levels. It runs off our streets and stormwaters. Another key factor in the new report are local fisheries. For instance, oysters went up five score points over the last two years, but at the same time, blue crabs decreased five points as well. The report found there are struggles to reduce agricultural pollution across the region. Issues Moore says will have to be addressed in the 2023 lawmaking session in Richmond. Although we're, we're making a lot of success, there's a long ways that we um, can go and, and need to go. In Virginia Beach, Alex Littlehales for 13 News Now. Even though the oysters category improved in the new State of the Bay report, it's still graded overall an F.